What could be more Gothic than a town being eaten by the sea? Once there were a dozen churches here, thousands of people, a massive town that's now all gone and all that's left is a handful of houses. I had to change a few things about the place though and for that reason I changed the name of this place from Dunwich to Winterfold. There's something else about Winterfold though, an old story, a story that goes back 200 years and it's the story of a mad priest and a mad scientist conducting unholy experiments into the afterlife. I'd also been thinking about those really intense friendships that teenage girls sometimes develop when they get really, really close, sometimes too close. And two girls came to mind. First of all, Rebecca, who's a city girl, and she's brought to Winterfold very much against her will by her father, who's a disgraced detective, uh, looking for somewhere to hide. And it's here that she meets Ferilith, the local girl. And I don't really know how to describe Ferilith other than to say that she's just very strange. She is not like normal people. This is the lover's seat, and this is one of Ferilith's favourite places, but it's also where Rebecca and Ferilith first meet. So this is the stone bridge, which is uh, one of Ferilith's favourite haunts, but it's also the place where she tells Rebecca the story of the candle room, the secret of which lies behind the mad priests and the mad scientists' unholy experiments. Today I was at the hall and the doctor and I spoke long and hard upon our quest. I've recorded before that our quest is to be a voyage into the unknown, but only today did this miraculous Frenchman reveal his full methods to me. We talked, nay argued for an hour and more, and then with a curse he threw his hands in the air, would speak no more, and took me by the hand. Holy God, what I saw. For when our speaking came to a close, Dr Barrier led me into the darkest bowels of Winterfold Hall, and there I beheld the dreadful apparatus with which our voyage will be made. <laughs> 